everybody. This is Stephanie. Thank you all for coming in my kitchen today. Uh, it's Thursday. It's Thursday evening. And I'm getting ready to fry me some whitings. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Thank you, everybody, for sharing. Thank you, everyone, for subscribing and being there. Please keep on subscribing and liking. And, you know, please give me a thumbs up. When you see this video, I am trying to get more videos out. And here I am. So, Today I'm going to make whitings because it's dinner time and I'm hungry and I haven't, I don't think I had a, a video up for whitings. I kind of glanced through it. I didn't see one. So I always make them on my Sunday dinner, but today I'm making it on a Thursday and I'm showing you how I do my thing. Okay. All right. So I'm over here and I have about two pounds of whitings right here and I already uh, washed them off. I got them from the store today. And generally when I buy my whitings from this store, I absolutely love them. So also I use two different kinds of fish fry. And this one, I'm gonna open it so I can kind of see the real name of this, Zatarans. This is the Zatarans fish fry that I use. And this fish fry does not have any salt in it. It's the, called the wonderful one. It has no sodium in it at all. So that's why I like it because then if I add the crunchy stuff or any a little bit more salt, it's not too salted and you know, I have to watch what I'm doing. So I'm going to put a little of this in here. Um, yeah, maybe a, this is about half the bag. I'm going to maybe put a quarter of this or half of this half. So I have a quarter left. I think that's going to be okay. And then look at my little trick. I know you guys must know this, but I have a, um, a clip that I use, you know, in my office, the paper clip thing. And I just turn it over and I just put, just kind of clip on it and that's it. So it makes it easier for me uh, when I need it without cutting it and resealing it and all that kind of stuff. So for right now, that's what I'm doing. Now I have this Louisiana um, seasoned crispy fish fry and I like it because it's crispy, but it does have more sodium in it um, than, of course, the other one. Uh, it does have some sodium, 27% sodium. So, again, I'm going to put about a quarter of this bag into this also. That way, I cut the sodium down. And that's my, and that's my ideal thing to do. So, I'm going to cut the sodium down. And cut, I got my little clip again. So I can keep my stuff together and keep it fresh as it can be. So put my clip on there. Now, in this pan right here, of course, I got some vegetable oil. And right now I'm going to turn it on so that it gets hot as I'm seasoning um, this fish. Now I need to get a, well, I have it. Nope, I have to get a, a spoon. Oh, I got one right here. I got a wooden spoon and I want to mix this together. Cause I really want it, you know, all mixed up the way I really kind of need it being. So that's the whole point of the thing. So you don't get too much salt in any spot. That's what I want to do. So you mix it up well and that's what you do. So you get everything well combined. Next, I got my fish here. Now, like I said, I've already washed it off and um, what I'm going to do, this is different than I usually do. I usually like lay them out flat. This time I'm not going to do that. I'm going to sprinkle some um, seasonings all over it. Then I'm going to move it around, put a little bit more, move it around. And that's how I'm going to handle it today. Today I'm using some Spain spice and this is all in one seasoning. So I'm going to put that on top. Maybe under a little under here. You know, I just want to. Sprinkle it all, then I'll have to put it other places. So I'm putting some Spain spice in. I'm putting, of course, I always put onion powder on my fish, my fried fish. I'll put a little onion powder on here. It's already smelling good. It's already smelling good. Yeah. There's places I didn't get, but that's okay. I'm also using a little bit of this adobo, adobo light, and it's a seasoning salt, and it's, adobo is salty, but I like a little adobo, just a little on my food, so 
you know, it, it kind of helps. So I'm going to sprinkle just a little in and, in and around here. Just a little bit on here. Because what I'm going to end up doing is moving everything all around. So, and then, of course, you can't have fish unless you got some Old Bay in here. So I put, I'm going to put a little Old Bay on, all, on everything also. And I'll turn it around and carry on. It, like I said, it's not generally how I do it. I usually do each piece, but for today's uh, video and for the purpose of time, I'm not doing it like that. But if you, if you, you know, move it all around, it's, your, your fish is going to get some seasoning all over it. Okay. That's what the main point of the whole thing is. So some pieces I might not see something on. Put a little bit of it on, you know, and as you guys can see what I'm doing here. So it's got some Old Bay. I'm going back to the onion powder on these. I want onion powder on it. I'm going back to the um, Spain Spice and I'm not putting any more adobo on here. That's it. No more adobo. That has enough adobo. Okay. Yeah, here we go. That looks good. That's all I'm doing. Very the end. So I put it all over everything. This is getting hot. You know it's hot. I, it's got a it's got a minute to go. It's still it's on high. Well, it's kind of on high, but I want it to get hot before I put it in. And I'm just gonna simply Drop it in my my meat my um breading right here and then drop it right into the into the uh, hot oil. So I'm waiting for it to get hot. And then once it gets hot, I'll show you. You can take a little pinch of of the um the uh flour and if it begins to bubble immediately, then you know it's ready. And excuse my hands, guys. I went to the doctor today and they treated me like a pin cushion. So I got a band-aid here. I got a band-aid on my wrist. They tried to get my arms. They couldn't get no blood today. So they had to like torture me so they can get a little blood out of me today. I don't know exactly what that is. I must look that up. Why you couldn't get blood from me today. But I don't like being a pin cushion. And, I, and lots of times, most people do have a hard time getting blood from me, but not usually them. So I got to check that out. Now, I also put my hand over, over it and feel, if I feel the heat on it. And one more time, let's see how she's rolling. And she's almost ready. Yeah, it's almost, when I put that in there, it almost starts sizzling. So while it's just about ready for that, I'm going to take the fish, put it in the breading. And throw it in my pan. It doesn't take long at all to cook fish like this. Let's see. Now, of course, I could have, there she goes. Of course, I could have, you know, a thermometer and all that. I don't do that. You know, I just don't do that. I use my old-fashioned way. Remember, oh, you people, so most of y'all don't, maybe don't know. It depends on your age. But we didn't have all this extra thermometers and stuff to figure out if your grease was hot. You know, or when you was cooking something, you didn't necessarily use a thermometer to get your food done. And I don't see the point of spinning, you know, putting a thermometer in here and wasting and making something, messing something else up. So I don't do that. <laughs> We're using cameras. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, so yeah, so I'm, I am uh, making my fish right now. I had a wonderful afternoon. I mean, a wonderful afternoon. I went out, after I, you know, went to the doctor this morning and got and got all punched up. Then I went to the store and, you know, around my neighborhood basically, which is where I would find a uh, a pork shoulder because that's what I was looking for. And I found a pork shoulder, and I put the pork. I bought a pork shoulder. And some ribs because I intend to smoke a pork shoulder. That's one of my next videos. But after I went there, then I went to my normal food store 
And then when I got back, uh, you know, when I came, you know, came back and put the food away and I had some time before I was cooking dinner, I'm like, I'm gonna go outside and sit under the tree. And that's what I did. I sat in front of my under tree that has been there forever and I never get a chance to enjoy it. And I sat out there for about an hour and a half and I felt like I went to the beach. It's so relaxing. I feel so good. I can't even tell you. I am blessed to be able to work from home and be able to have time to do just what I did. I am so thankful to God for this. You just, he, little things like that. I'm blessed, I'm telling you. So my hand, of course, is all, uh, is all flowery. I'm gonna go and wash my hand. I'll be right back. Once it fries, I like to, I like to see it get brown around the edges, cause this fish doesn't really take long at all to fry. But I want to see it get brown around the edges, and it's almost there. In about a minute or so, I'll, I'll turn it over. It's cooking very nicely. This is Norm. I cook this fish all the time. Maybe I can get a splatter guard. That might be kind of helpful. Maybe. But I don't, you notice that when I'm flipping it over, I'm using two things. You know, I got the spatula and I have a wooden spoon. Could have had two spatulas, whatever. Just so that I can get the other side and it doesn't, you can easily lay it down like that. That's how I turn my uh, fish over and how I would turn over a fried chicken or whatever so it doesn't splash on you or even if I'm making if I was making um, bacon use two you just use two handles that's all so and and place it in the oil so it's not going to splash on you so that's how I do that and then let it go and then you don't have to be scared of it popping you I mean splashing on you I'm not popping you but splashing on you because it still might pop <laughs> but at least it ain't gonna splash on you and you don't want that happening because this Oil is hot. Okay, so there she goes. It needs a minute or so, and we'll be back. And um, I'm gonna show you one more batch. I'm gonna finish the batch, and then we'll be back when it's finished. Cause, you know, make the video a little shorter, okay? But this is my fried whitings, and this is how I do it. And I hope you guys give it a try, cause I'm, I often eat this on Sundays. So, especially when I am tired. I often eat fish on Sundays because it's like that. It's not a long Sunday dinner. And I have some potato salad that I made the other day. Still some left in the refrigerator. This will go perfect with, with, with fish, fish and potato salad. That's a, that's a two point dinner right there, you know. And I have some regular salad too, so I'm good. That's a wonderful dinner for me. So, what I'm gonna do here I think it's just about ready, I'd say. I will go with maybe the first one I put in. I'd say you're almost it. Why don't you, I don't know if that's exactly the first one. It probably was you. Try you. Try you. You can see the other side is brown. I'll put them on the table when I get them out and wait for the next one. Now as you see, I only, I'm using one hand this time because I wanted to see the other, but I put it on top of a fish that's already here. So I want this to be a little more browner. So I'm gonna let it sit in a little bit longer and we're gonna see how that fares out. I think you're good. Let's stick back to that one. That's good. That was the middle one and the last one I put in. I'm gonna give you a flip over. Okay, get into the middle people. Okay, get into the middle, get into the middle. They're about ready. Yeah, they're about ready. I also like pokies. Love pokies. That is one delicious fish, but it's bony as heck. 
you got to be real careful when you eat those things. Because you can choke on them, on that bone. If that bone gets stuck in your throat. But it's a delicious, delicious fish. Delicious fish. And I might show you guys how to make one of those. I don't know if Perry will eat that because it is bony. But it's a good fish. So here I am. I'm going to work a little faster because the oil is hot. <laughs> But me, I'm in heaven now. Been outside under my tree, relaxing, getting a little tan under the tree. It is gorgeous weather out there. If the weather could stay just like it is today, all the time, uh, man, I guess we could have school outside then. I guess we could. <laughs> but I don't know how the kids will concentrate. Because it's so nice out there. So, and I don't live that far from the water. So we got the ocean breeze coming through here. Oh man, lovely. Absolutely lovely. Huh. Not too salty at all. If anybody wants, they can put more salt on it. But it's definitely not too salty at all. Uh-uh. So... Let's see. I think I'm going to try you because you went in on a, you've been in for a minute. It also depends on how your pan is. The pan might be, you know, the hot side might be over here. It really depends on how the, how the, how your oven, how your, uh, how your eye is, how it opens up. But I can see that that side is getting done. Maybe fit better than, faster than possibly this side right here. So that's what we do. So, I'm going to turn, gonna turn her over. She's good. She's probably very good. Alright, turn her over. There she goes. And now, we just got two more to get turned over. Now, as I, as I take the fish out of the pan, every single layer, I always put paper towels on top so it can absorb the oil and the grease. Um, I do believe my girls are ready here. I think she's ready first. Let's see. Turning it off. And I'm just about done with my dinner. So I could plate it up and show you the plate, which I may do. I think I will. I think I'll plate it up and show you guys the plate with my potato salad and you guys see what see what we're about to have for dinner just hold on one minute I'll get the plate ready all right guys I am ready to have dinner some fish and some potato salad right here and I actually have a this is dinner guys this is for us that's for me and Perry I wish I could share it with you directly thank you so much for following me you guys are my fuel right now i tell you right now so thank you guys for mwah. please have a safe safe day okay i appreciate you all i'll see you next time